Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean E. In today's video, we are proving that the, di the diagonals of a rectangle have to be congruent, which is a nice, fun result. So if we know how to find the length of a diagonal of a rectangle, then we can just generically solve for the length of each diagonal, and as long as they're equal, which they will be if we've done everything correctly, then we have proved that the diagonals have to be congruent. So we're just going to suppose that we have a rectangle with side lengths A and B. And let's take this first diagonal and let's say that it has length, uh, let's just use D for a diagonal, naturally. Well, using the Pythagorean theorem, which we know we can use, we know that that applies here because by definition of a rectangle, this angle's 90 degrees, so this is a right triangle. And then also by definition of rectangle, this side has a length of a. So then using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that a squared plus b squared is equal to d squared. And then we just take the square root of both sides and conclude that d, the length of this diagonal, is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So now we have an expression for the length of the first diagonal and let's call the second diagonal D1. And I'll write this in here sort of with a dotted line uh, just so things don't get too messy. I know that's a bit of a crappy diagonal, but this is D subscript one. So this is the other diagonal. And now we're going to show what this is equal to and it will prove to be equal to the first diagonal. The length of this side of course is B. So again, we've got a right triangle here with side lengths a and B, and so we know that D1, using the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared is equal to D1 squared, and then take the square root of both sides, and we get that D1 is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. And then of course, by substitution, D1 is equal to D, so we'll write D is equal to D1, and those are the two diagonals of any generic rectangle. We didn't assume anything special about this rectangle, just use the definition of a rectangle to bring us through two instances of the Pythagorean theorem, showing us that we get the same length for each diagonal. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove that the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. If you didn't believe it before, I hope you do now. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I Float that erases all black, it makes everything.